Well, hi, and uh, welcome back. Hey, today we're going to show you a little bit how to lay out your materials onto your board. So after you are done planning your board and you have a nice big long board like this, the question is, what are the next steps? Well, here they go. All right. So I'm all situated here. Uh, this is the board that I glued up for you the other day. Uh, and I've already done half of it. So after I got the board cut down, um, this is what you're going to walk around with for the next week or two, uh, is the three pieces to your napkin holder. Okay. And so we want to make sure we get these, uh, the right size. So what we're going to start with is, um, after we plane this down and we cut it in half, I have exactly half a board left, uh, which is in pretty good shape. So I'm going to start with, uh, I'm going to need a square. I'm going to need a pencil. I'm going to need a ruler, um, or a tape measure. Now I will tell you, um, I prefer tape measures, uh, usually because they're easier for me to read than these scales. However, the scale is going to be more accurate in this case. So, uh, so we're going to go with the scale. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to start out on this side here. Actually, let's turn this around and we're going to start out on this end and we're going to, first of all, cut all this no good nonsense off. Okay. So this is all going to become scrap over there. We don't want any of that. Okay. So the first board that we're going to cut is a board that is five by five. And we know the board is already five inches wide. So I'm going to measure out exactly five inches and I'm going to put a mark and then I'm going to measure another eighth of an inch and put a mark. And the reason I went an eighth of an inch is because that is how wide the blade is on the chop saw. So if I come here and I measure out five and I'm going to put a good dark line, then I'm going to go another eighth of an inch, which is right there. I'm going to put another good dark line. There's my first five inch board. Okay. And then I left enough space for the blade. And then we're going to come in here and we are going to cut another five inch piece. And then another eighth. Okay. And again, we're going to mark that out. And so this is going to generate the two sides of my napkin holder. Okay. You can have side here and a side here. And then this big board is going to be the base that connects the two pieces. And that is two and a half. So I'm going to measure out two and a half. And I don't need to measure out an eighth there because uh, it'll be pretty obvious where to put the blade, right? So I'm going to come out two and a half. Good dark line. And then what I like to do so I don't get confused is I tend to scribble that out. And then I'm just going to put my name real lightly on each piece so that if I cut them and set them down, my neighbor doesn't pick them up and do something with them. Okay. So there is our layout for our board, uh, what we're going to start with and how this is going to work. Now, when we go over to the chop saw and cut these, uh, we got to be really careful because uh, remember, we can only cut something that's five inches wide. So what we'll probably start with is I will put this in the saw this way and I will come down and cut this scrap off and dispose of that and throw it in the trash. Then I'm going to flip it over again and I'm going to make a cut here. So we're going to call this cut one, this cut two, and we're going to cut get rid of that. And then we're going to make this cut three. And the reason we're going to cut that first is this is too small. If we cut it last, we won't have enough material to hold on to when we get to the chop saw and it's not going to work. Okay. Then uh, cut three and then cut four. And if you do that correctly, you should end up with two pieces that are five inches long and one that's two and a half. Okay. Five by five, five by five, five by two and a half. All right. So that's what we're after. With a little luck, uh, you'll get it all laid out correctly because if you don't, eh, it's kind of a problem. So my advice to you is after you lay it all out, have me take a look at it just to confirm that you have it all correct. Okay. All right. So I'm here at our chop saw, also called a miter saw, and uh, my board that I have laid out, we're going to make those cuts now. So I'm going to come in and first of all dispose of that. So again, I'm going to hold my hand way out here off the silver dollar. I'm going to come up to my line, get it exactly where I want, make sure I'm holding it with my left hand, operating the saw with my right hand. 
Remember to leave the saw in the down position till the blade stops turning because we don't want it to grab these scrap pieces and throw them at you, okay? So now I've made that first cut. We're going to flip this around, and we're going to cut this piece of scrap wood off the end here. And again, I'm holding it nice and far out here. We're going to come down, let the blade stop turning. Now we're going to slide this down and take out this uh, two and a half inch piece. And again, I'm making sure that the teeth of the saw are in between the two lines. We'll bring that down. Okay, and now I have my two and a half foot, or my two and a half inch piece. And then this one I'm going to be real careful on because it's right at the limits of what we can cut. So I'm going to keep my hand nice and far back here off the silver dollar. We're going to bring it down, make that cut. And then I'm just going to check these to make sure they're the same height. Uh, and they're never going to be exactly perfect. But as you can see, they're within probably a 64th of an inch. And that's close enough. All right. Hey, see you on the next one.